Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Zero, Zero Next in game, and I'm going to do a short video on mouse control. I'm just going to get into my saber. Now, I see a lot of pilots on videos, and I'm not criticizing, and they probably some will already know and have it set to their desired configuration but a lot of new players won't know this information and maybe some old players won't who knows we will see so i personally fly on dual sticks and pedals but i know a lot of people play on mice and keyboard so I'm just going to take off with my sticks and I'm going to alter some settings. We'll just get further away from the station so we don't get any hassle. Right. In options. As you scroll down, you have pilot VJoy range your range pitch and dead zone for the percentage of the mouse. Thank you. Now by default, it's set right up at the top. Uh, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but that's probably set pretty high as well. I'll set it in the middle for the moment, just to give you an example of what I mean. So, when you use the mouse, I don't have the line on. Uh, when you use the mouse, it, you see the X that you use to control your mouse, it shows you sort of what direction you're going in, the little X, you move it back to the middle, it stops. This, I believe, can cause numerous issues while trying to control because you have to move it so far just to get any precise control at all. Well, you don't get precise control because it's you're having to move the mouse so far. Now, let me show you this. Options again. Back down to the VJoy. And I personally would move it. I can't remember what my settings are. I'd say about five. Move the percentage of the dead zone down. And we'll try that. Everybody's going to have to experiment and find out what's best for them. But see, when I move the mouse now, it only goes a short distance. And the dead zone, see the dead zone is quite short, so I can make the dead zone bigger, which I will give you an example. And it basically, as is obvious, uh, it runs off a percentage of what you set your range and you're at. So if I put the range up to, say, four, now when I move it, I've got a little bit more. I've got about to there before it'll actually do anything. I'm going to alter that just a little bit more. Just to show you. So it'll be 10% now of the range. So see, I can move it quite a little bit to there, to where the white dot is. That's my dead zone where the white dot is. Yeah? So even if I tweak my mouse a little bit, ship's not going to move but as soon as I hit the dead zone the ship's moving it gives you a lot better control of your ship in all directions because it's reacting so much faster now you can alter all this uh, I think personally I tried to set it so that the range was just outside the X uh, so that you get really precise movements. If we move that up a little bit I 
However, that's the max range. But still, as you can see, I move my mouse. I can move in all directions really, really quickly. You know what I mean? I can make alterations really quick. If I'm trying to track a target, I'm not having to move the mouse to the extremes. I'll just move it back just to show you what happens when it's when it's at full. Uh, obviously, if you're going to be full, I'd move that down. Uh, but you can play with this, whatever, you, however sensitive you want that dead zone to be. Uh, so we'll go out again, and now have to move it, move my mouse loads in order to compensate. I know you could probably do it with DPI, but and also the X doesn't really give you an indication of what direction you're going to be moving in, because you have to track that X that's moving away from your main marker your main crosshair you have to track that sort of well I find you do you may not so personally if I were you I'd have a little fiddle with these settings and I would knock it right down get as sensitive as you can and you may find that you're able to control your ship a lot lot more sensitive there with a lot more finer control you'll be able to chase that X whether you use lag or lead pip I'm personally uh, a lag pip boy but that's just me well that's the end of the mouse demonstration and how to adjust some of your settings you can do that for driver and all the other settings etc uh, but that's the end of the video I hope you found that useful uh, and happy fiddling Enjoy. Goodbye.